Hi, my name is Michael Buffington. I am the concept art lead in the School of Game Development for the Academy of Art University. Now, there are a lot of really cool tracks in the School of Game Development, but there are two that I really want to tell you about today. One is UI UX, and the other is technical art. Well, hello there, Grasshopper. Now, there are a lot of UI elements in a game. Let me just show you a few. For example, when you're trying to count those coins to make sure you have enough to level up that character, you have a coin counter. When you're trying to check your time in a level, you might have a timer. Or, if you want to see where you are in the level, you might have a mini-map. But man, I am feeling really low energy right now. What is this? An energy boost? Oh my. Wow, look at that. You see that? I got an energy boost and my energy meter went up. That's how UI elements work. And you see them all the time in a game. I'm here with Greg. Greg is a lead UI UX instructor in the School of Game Development at the Academy of Art University. So Greg, what is UI UX? UI UX stands for User Interface and User Experience. Now, what kind of skills does a person need if they're going to be successful in UI UX? To be successful in UI UX, you need to understand graphic design, motion design, and some psychology. User interface design is about creating the visual, animated, and auditory elements in a game that are informative for the player, and user experience is about how does that element function and how does it feel playing the game. This field is in very high demand, and it's one of the hardest jobs to fill. So employers are looking for problem solvers and innovators, people that can create new ways of interacting with new technologies like AR and VR. That's really awesome. Thanks, Greg. Now, here at the Academy, we also teach something called technical art. Now, technical art is a totally new role within the games industry. It's sort of like a link between artists and programmers. In fact, technical art is kind of like a hybrid between artists and programmers. So I'm here with Phil. Phil is a technical art lead in the School of Game Development. And we're checking out the Tesla suit. So Phil, what exactly is a Tesla suit? So the Tesla suit has full body motion capture, climate control, and haptic feedback to guide its user's experience within a game. Technical art involves rigging, visual effects, and working with new technology like virtual reality and the Tesla suit. The Tesla suit, in fact, is actually still in the prototype stage, but we get to work with it now, years before it's actually going to be available to consumers. When a user puts on their headset, they're immersed in a new world ready to tackle new challenges that are as close to reality as you can get. That feels like my arm's on fire. Wow, that's incredible. Is that the sound for the jukebox? Oh, oh wow. Yeah! <laughs> you can feel the music, all right. The Academy gives you the skills that you need to be a technical artist. No two days are the same, and the gaming world needs passionate innovators to make breakthroughs with emerging technology and lead the way into the future. So if you like problem solving and trying different things, technical art definitely might be for you. But the question is, are you up to the challenge? Thanks for checking out our UI, UX, and technical art tracks. Hopefully we'll see you in maybe an open house, or who knows, maybe one day you'll be in class with us learning cool stuff like this.